Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and a very happy Mario Day 2024 to you all. I have been slowly accumulating some new 4-inch Jack Specific World of Super Mario figures. And lo and behold, on Mario Day, I happened into my local GameStop just as they were putting out the new figures. So I was able to Mario Maker my own wave out of all the different waves that have come out thus far. And we'll take a look at all these new figures. Starting off with the Ralph Wiggum of the Mario Universe, Spike, or how he's listed on the box as well, Spoonzo, which I kind of like a whole heck of a lot better. On the backside, you get a little bit of a read-up about Spike with the POW block. I think he could have used a huge spiked ball, right? That would have been... Nice to see. Also, here's all the figures in this wave. Spike being the newest one, Red Yoshi being one I don't have, but happy to add. And like I said, these are starting to hit game stops now if you're interested, along with his wave mate, the Red Yoshi. I have a lot of Yoshis in my collection. I don't have the Red Yoshi, so again, it was nice to add him. On the backside, you get to see all the characters in the wave again. You get to read up on Red Yoshi with egg. <laughs> And here's the barcode for him as well. Like I said, he's a reissue, but he's not one that I have. Now, this one is actually pretty cool. This is Toadette with coin, right? Just to point that out. On the back side, you get to see everything as usual, right? With all the different Jack specific Mario figures. She came from GameStop. You can read up on old Toadette with coin. And what's nice about the Jack's Mario line is that if you miss a figure, they usually come back around every so often. So you're really not without the figures that you need. Now, to move on to a more articulated new touch, we have the new Toad. And this one I looked at in store, and it took me a second, because as I've asked Jack Specific to do many a time for people like me, put a little star next to the ones that are new, because it's not something I go, oh yeah, he just has new articulation. So again, Toad with new articulation, and here's the barcode for Toad. I actually found him at Target, along with this Shy Guy, which I think a lot of people will go, oh, I already have Shy Guy. Well, this is the Shy Guy with the block, right? With the question mark block. If you look closely, he doesn't have the propeller port in his head, so it's a new Shy Guy, kinda, sorta. And we'll just add him to the old collection anyways. Here's the barcode for this Shy Guy. Toad, Shy Guy, came from Target. The rest, GameStop. And then also CVS, which is getting the new 2.5 inch Wario Wave. Didn't find the Wario Wave, unfortunately, but apparently I don't have this 2.5 inch green shelled Koopa Paratroopa. Of all the 2.5 inch figures I got, apparently I missed this one or this one's new. See, that's where a star comes in handy, Jax, but. I digress, this is going to be a lot of fun for Mario Day 2024, so sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at Spike, Toadette, the Red Yoshi, the newly articulated Toad, and the non-propeller Shy Guy, so then just standard Shy Guy, from the Jack Specific World of Super Mario line. So now here's everything out of the packaging, and I gotta say, very happy with these figures. I'm always very happy with Jax's Mario line. They could change a few things, but it just harkens back to those good old days of collecting with just figures on a card. Now, we'll kick it off with the Shy Guy. Shy Guy comes with the question mark block. We have thousands of these at this point. And the Shy Guy, he's pretty well painted. He looks good. No propeller on his head. And just to show you the difference between a red and a blue propeller, no propeller on this guy. So that's the only difference. It's the same paint, same look, same everything. So it's a non-propellered Shy Guy. You know what I'm saying? But what would be nice with all this Shy Guy action that we're getting is a different accessory. Coins, coin blocks. You'll see the same exact articulation with him as well. But let's start giving the Shy Guy something different, maybe some fruit. If you give these figures different accessories, Jax, I'm just saying, I will buy them again. I love the Super Mario line. So there are a couple grievances with the paint, maybe clean up the paint, that's always something I've kind of mentioned for the most part, they're always pretty good. But if you want this new non-propellered Shy Guy, you can grab him now, along with Toad and his question mark block. So that's two question mark blocks 
that I have now. Maybe change it up, put a little thing underneath that makes a coin pop up like the 2.5 inch series. Do something different with these accessories. Now, Toad himself, which is actually a brand new figure. They have re-sculpted him. He's got brand new articulation. I'll show you the differences between old Toad and new Toad. You could even get him sitting down if you want. He's got articulation in the arms, the elbows. He'll spin at his little teeny tiny elbows. Everything is pinless. See, that's the thing about Jax, is that they do such a great job with the Mario line. However, the one caveat to that going forward is that while I do appreciate the updates and the price tag, right? 10 to 12 bucks, depending on the store you go for. That's all great, but it's becoming just a little bit stagnant. I would say, let's start getting a lot more new characters instead of just the repaints over and over. Now, when you compare this newly articulated Toad with the prior less articulated Toad, the differences are pretty clear. He's a lot more squatty this time around, a lot more on model, I would say. Of course, the articulation, the little mushroom head, you get the idea. Do I like the articulation on this Toad? Yes, bring it on. Let's see some new articulation for all these Mario figures. Now, with Toadette, you get a coin. That's not that interesting. We have dozens of those. Toadette herself, though, that's a nice new mold, nice new figure. We have gotten the 2.5 inch version, and now we got the four inch version, which looks like she shares the bottom half of the newly articulated toad, but the top hat with the torso and the head, that's all newly sculpted, and it does look great. And I like her articulation. It's simplistic, but it gets the job done. She has some wrist hinge action right there, so it'll kind of go up and down like she's doing the wave. She's got it in the shoulders, the ball jointed head, which gives her a little bit more mobility except for her little braids right there. That'll knock into the arms if they're too high up. She's got a little bit of a waist, and then her little feet go up and down and legs. So what articulation is there is perfect for a character like Toadette, right? Don't need too much but I appreciate that the sculpt is dead on. And just to see her with the other toads in my collection, from Fire Toad to Yellow Toad to now this newly articulated toad and Toadette, yes, you can clearly start to see the difference between all of them, and it's cool to see a female toad. Now, with Yoshi, the red Yoshi comes with a red Yoshi egg, of course it does, and the red Yoshi itself, if you have any other Yoshi, it's going to be the exact same articulation. It's not the newly articulated Yoshi body, unfortunately. As we could all assume, I would guess that they would do all the new articulated Yoshis in all the different colors as well. Although I would like to see a little bit of a change up. Maybe do like an action line, right? Where you push down on the back of his shell and his tongue shoots out. Or maybe you're able to pull his arm back, you put the egg in his hand and he can throw the egg just like Yoshi's story, Yoshi's Island. That would be awesome. And just to show you all the various Yoshis in my collection, of which I'm pretty sure I'm missing one or two of them, but I digress. It's a lot of Yoshis in my collection, and they're all pretty much the same exact articulation, except for the green one, which you can clearly see has newly articulated feet, the arms, everything just a lot more articulated as opposed to this older articulated versions of the Yoshi. I'm happy to have the red one. I would just like to see something done different, some action, or even be able to put Mario on his back. That would be a really nice additive as well. So now to finalize it with this make a wave, right? We have a POW block, which again, we have seen before. This is not the appropriate accessory for Spike. I really wish they would have gone with this one as opposed to a POW block. That's kind of a letdown. Again, I'm not usually let down with Jax, but this is one specific character that usually throws a specific thing. Spike himself, Really no complaints on this guy. What you see is what you get, and it's nice to have him one-upped from the 2.5 inch scale. No peg holes on the bottom, but plenty of articulation for a character like Spike. He even has some little drop-down hinge right there, although I will say, and I did look at a few of these in the store, some of the paint, you might wanna check them out. It's everything that I could see without opening the package, obviously. So yes, plenty of articulation for this Koopa, 
known as Spike. And then just to show you the difference between the 2.5 inch version and now this larger four inch version, yes, it's basically the same, just less articulation, right? Obviously from 2.5 inch to four inch, but it's still a darn good looking Spike. So again, while he is a great sculpt, that is Spike through and through. What really would have made this figure pop is if he had the appropriate accessories that you usually see with the characters known as Spike. My God, he's, he's terrifying. <laughs> Now, just real quick, as an added bonus, we'll look at this 2.5 inch Koopa Paratroopa, which again, can't believe that I don't have this character. If you're interested, these are all the characters on the back of his box. You have the newly articulated Luigi, and Daisy, and everything else. So if you're missing any of these, uh, you can get them at CVS for an odd reason. Now, they have changed it. Obviously, they're not open packaging anymore. It comes in the box, and then it comes in this little baggie, which, oh no, oh God, I hope it, okay. <laughs> Please let his other wing be in here. There you go, Koopa Paratroopa all out of the packaging with his wings. Same exact articulation, the wings go up and down, left, right, you get the idea. That is a nice look of Koopa Paratroopa if you're interested in the 2.5 inch collection, of which if you are interested, for Mario Day especially, I have my full look at the entire complete collection up to uh, last year for the Mario 2.5 inch figures by Jack Specific. Do check it out, it's quite a large collection. And just to show you the difference between scales, four inch spike, 2.5 inch, yes, they'll be a lot smaller, but they are very effective, especially with the play sets. But then back to the four inch figures with Yoshi, Toadette, Peach, Spike, Mario, Shy Guy, and regular, more articulated Toad. They all scale for the most part. I would say Toad is probably more the 2.5 inch compared to Mario, but I don't look at scale with these lines. It's just fun. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at some brand new Jack Specific World of Super Mario 4 inch figures just in time for Mario Day 2024. And again, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, living it up, playing your favorite Mario games. I am interested. What is your favorite Mario game of all time? For me, if I'm being honest, Six golden coins on Game Boy, that's pretty fantastic. Although, that's just the one I'm playing right now. So, there's a ton of awesome Mario games. I'm also playing Mario vs. Donkey Kong. That's pretty challenging, but I appreciate the challenge, right? But, you've heard my thoughts on these figures, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything world of Super Mario. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, as with the favorite video games... What is the number one figure from the Mario world you want to see Jax make next? And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.